I am making a branded Despio deck profile. This deck seems really fun to play and might be one of, if not the best deck I have. But this deck is very heavily fusion based, with, at least with the way I play it. And it's just really fun, especially when you can chain block correctly. Also, if I get any kind of ruling messed up while making the video, then my bad. And feel free to comment that below if I did end up a mess up a ruling. As I with the monsters, I played one copy of Despian Comedy and two copies of Despian Tragedy. Comedy has the effect of your opponent would activate a card or effect that targets a Despia monster or monsters you control. You can then send it to your hand, your grave, to then negate that effect. And then while it's in the graveyard, you have a quick effect of triggering a level 8 or higher fusion to summon it from your graveyard. So, comedy is in this deck just because you can use it to block something like effect Valor or impermanence. And then the two tragedies are in this deck because when they are sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, then you get to add one Despia monster from your deck to your hand. Or uh, you can use its effect while it's in the graveyard to then banish it to then set a branded Spell or Trap from your graveyard. But you can only use one of those two effects per turn. Then I play two copies of Spriggan's Kit. Kit is a free summon while you control a fusion monster that lists Alabaster's material. But it has, also has the effect of if it's normal or special summoned while you control a fusion monster that lists Alabaster in its text, then you can. Spe er, or when someone you search for Alabaster or a monster. Or, or Alabaster. I'm butchering this effect because I'm trying to think of multiple different things at the same time. You summon it, you search for a branded spell or trap from your deck, and then you take one card from your hand and put it at the bottom of your deck. I'm pretty sure I'm still thinking of the free summon. Then I play two copies of Alabaz, just because this deck does require you to play Alabaz. As well as normal summoning Alabaz isn't that bad. Your opponent has a light or dark monster you don't want to deal with. Where you can summon it, discard a card to then fuse with monsters your opponent controls. Or you can fuse with monsters on the field, but the only monster in your field you're allowed to use is Albaz. Any other monsters have to be on your opponent's field. You can only use that effect of Albaz once per turn. Same with Kit, you can only use each effect once per turn. Then I play three copies of Alibur, the Jester of Despia. Alibur is one of the most important monsters in this deck by its effect of when it's normal or a special summon. You get to search your deck for a branded spell or trap. And then I don't use its gray effect very often, but it has the effect of loss in the grave that if a face-up fusion monster you control is destroyed by a battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects to the end of the turn. And you can only use that effect of, you can only use each effect of Alibur once per turn. Is it, you can only use each effect once per turn? Okay, no, you can only use one of the effects per turn. Like I said, I only usually use its effect on summon to search for branded spell or traps. Then I play one copy of Ad Libidum, or and two copies of Dramaturge. Ad Libidum has the effect of if during the main phase you can make all monsters on the field gain 100 attack points times their level. And if it is sent to the graveyard, or this card in your hand or if you use as fusion material or is banished, you can then target one banished Despia, or level eight or higher fusion monster. That or let me restart that. You can target one level eight or higher or Despia monster other than another ad libitum that's banished on your graveyard and special summon it. And then Dramaturge has the effect of your opponent summons a fusion, synchro, Xyz, or Link from their extra deck. Then you can target one face up monster on the field and negate its effects. As well as it having the effect of if it's sent from hand or field to the grave as fusion material or is banished, then you can special summon it from your or to your field. You can only use each effect of Dramaturge and Ad Libitum once per turn. Then for the fusion supports, I play one copy of the Light Exhale Fusion. 
one Dasher and one Celestial since I am playing Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer and Dragoon. With Celestial being able to banish itself another Destiny Hero from your graveyard to draw two cards while you have no cards in hand. And then Dasher being able to just let you summon a monster from your hand once while it's in the graveyard. Then to finish off the monsters, I play three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Ash Blossom having the effect to stop your opponent from adding a card from deck to hand, foolishing a card from deck to grave, or summoning a monster from the deck. Where you can, if your opponent does any of those, then once per turn you can send this card from your hand, or you can send it to, you can discard it to then negate that effect. I am butchering my words. I'm, I apologize. Then I play one copy of Foolish Burial so that you can Foolish the Tragedy. Two copies of Brenda Lost. I really like Brenda Lost in this deck just because while it's in play, your opponent cannot negate the effects of a card or effect. That includes the effect to Fusion Summon. Your opponent cannot res respond to the effects of... Or cannot respond to the Fusion... I am butchering the wording, so I'm going to read the card to get the wording correct. Your opponent can activate cards or effects when a monster is fusion summoned. So if your opponent, so you summon a fusion monster like Lubellion or Albion, then your opponent can't respond to it. So I like this card because if you activate branded fusion, fusing Albaz with tragedy, you can go chain one tragedy to then search for any just be a monster. Chain two branded lost to once per turn since you fusion summon. You can search for an Albaz or a monster that lists fallen Albaz in its text. And then you can go chain three the monster you just summoned. So in this case, Lubellion. And because Lubellion is chain three, your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response to it. Because it's an on fusion summon. Then I play two copies of Fusion Destiny. Fusion Destiny just lets you fuse Destiny heroes from your hand or deck to then fusion summon a Destiny hero monster. But when you do use this effect, you can only special summon dark hero monsters. For the rest of the turn. Then I play two copies of Despia Theater of the Branded. I love this card in this deck just because if a fairy monster or if a non fusion fairy monster is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card, then you can resurrect a level 8 or higher fusion monster from your graveyard. And then during your main phase, you can activate its effect to then fuse. Fusion summon one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck. And you can only use each of the effects of Despia Theater of the Branded once per turn. Then I play three copies of Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion just lets you fusion summon a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz as a requirement from your, by using monsters from your hand, field, or deck. But if you use this effect, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except for fusion monsters for the rest of the turn. You can only get one brand fusion per turn. But this card's uh, restriction effect does not matter in this build because everything in the extra deck is a fusion monster. Then I play three copies of Branded in Red. Branded in Red lets you target one Despia monster or Fallen of Alba as your graveyard and add to your hand. And then you have the option of being able to use this other effect, which lets you banish monsters from your hand or field to then fusion summon. But you can only use, you can only activate one branded in red per turn. But I like this card at three, but if you want to play two, then you can take it out for something like Monster Reborn, Raigeki, or er, hey, Monster Reborn, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, or the third copy of Kit, or whatever you want to replace it with. Then to finish off the spell cards, I play three copies of Branded Opening. Branded Opening is another starter for this deck because of how it has the effect that you can discard one card, not for cost, I found out. And then you get to summon one or take one Death Monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. And then it has the grave effect of if a fusion level eight or higher fusion monster you can totally be destroyed by battle. Or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only use each effect of branded opening once per turn. Then to finish off the deck, I play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Just because if when you go second, while you have no cards in play, you can activate imp 
unit impermanence from your hand, target an opponent's effect monster and negate its effects. Or if you go first, you can set it to your field, where it'll then also negate all spells and traps in that column. Well, that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, I play three copies of Albion, the Branded Dragon. Albion has the effect of if this card's fusion summoned, you can fusion summon one level eight or lower fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from your field or from your. I know it's field or grave, but you also need it. Okay, by banishing materials from your hand, field or graveyard. But if you do this effect, uh, and then its other effect is during the end phase, if this card's in your graveyard because it was sent there, then you can then take one branded spell or trap in your deck and either set it to your field or add it to your hand. The other thing I was thinking of it, it had is the effect of the two Lubellion the Searing Dragon, where Lubellion has the effect of this card's fusion summon. You can discard a card to then fusion summon one level eight or higher fusion monster by returning cards from your hand, field, grave, or banished back to the deck. But when you use this effect, Lubellion cannot attack. Also, you cannot special monsters from the extra deck for the return except fusion monsters. Again, that restriction doesn't matter because everything in the extra deck is a fusion monster. Then I play two copies of Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. I honestly want to play three of this just because this card is devastating against combo decks. And that's just because of its non-activation effect of while this fusion summoned card is on the field, your opponent has to pay 600 life points to activate cards or effects. But then it also has the effect of when your opponent has a Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link monster in play, while this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon it from the graveyard, but banish it and leaves the field. Then I play the one copy of Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer. Phoenix Enforcer is very annoying by its effect of your opponent's monsters lose 200 attack for each Destiny Hero in your graveyard. But the main effect that makes it annoying is the fact that once per turn, quick effect, you can have it activates effect to then. I don't remember if it targets or not. Okay, you can activate its effect to destroy one card on both sides of the field. And then if it's destroyed by card effect, then you can activate its effect from the in the graveyard so that during the next standby phase, it can summon itself back. And then you can all use each effect of Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer once per turn. Then I also play the one copy of Despy and Quirtus. Quirtus has the effect of, is the quick effect of during the main phase, you activate its effect so that all monsters on the field have their attack points reduced to zero. But the only monsters unaffected by this effect are, mon are level eight or higher fusion monsters. And then if Despy and Quirtus is destroyed by a battle or an opponent's card, then you get to search your deck for one Despia monster. You can only use each effect of Quirtus once per turn. Then I play one copy of Pride of Plant Dracos Topelia. Although I have thought about replacing Dracos Topelia with Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon as a Super Poly target, even though I. But Super Poly is not in the main deck right now, but I have thought about putting it back in instead of sliding it. But Dracos to play requires a dark monster and a fusion monster. But it has the effect, quick effect of once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, give it a predator counter. And then it has a continuous effect of all, your opponent's monsters that have predator counters cannot uh, have their activated effects negated. But I want to replace it with Greedy Venom and Fusion Dragon, which just requires a dark monster and a monster whose original level was 8 or higher. But the reason I like this card is because it is a target one monster your opponent controls and gets effects and reduces attack to zero. And if it dies, it dark holds the field and then you can banish a level eight or higher dark dark monster from your graveyard to summon it right back. Then I also play two copies of Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Mirror Jade I really like, although I hardly ever actually make it. 
but it has the effect where you can only control one Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. But you can also, once per turn, quick effect, send a fusion monster that lists Al er, Albion. Albaz as material from your extra deck or field, I believe. From your extra deck to the graveyard that mentions Fallen of Albaz to then banish one monster on the field. So I have this character that's non targeting banishing. But, but if you use that effect, then you cannot activate that or use that effect until the end of the next turn. And then if it leaves the field, if this creation summon card leaves its owner's field because of an opponent's card, then you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls during the end phase of that turn. And if I remember correctly when I was watching a deck profile of this, someone had mentioned how you can activate Mirror Jade's effect twice in it. In it Reunite its effect twice within the course of two turns, I believe you said it was. Because you can, if you banish it and then summon it off of Ad Libidum, then it's, it has a new card so you can use its effect again. But not in that turn because you can only activate each of its effects once per turn. Then I play the one copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, which in this deck is just a cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. If your opponent activates a card or effect, then you can discard a card, negate that activation, and if you do, destroy it. And then if you did get destroyed, it gains a thousand attack. So in this deck, it's literally just a mo monster that negates and gets bigger as it negates and destroys. And then to finish off the fusion monsters, I play the two copies of Guardian Chimera. Guardian Chimera requires three monsters with different names, without one, at least one being from the field and at least one being from hand. But when you do summon it, then for each monster you used on field, you get to destroy one card your opponent controls. And then for each card that was used in hand, you get to draw one card. And I'm trying to see if his if you can only use each effect of Guardian Chimera once per turn. And then while polymerization is in your graveyard, your opponent cannot target Guardian Chimera with card effects. I don't really care about it not about it being able to be targeted while polymerization is not in the graveyard. So because of that, I don't play the Fright for engine, but if I did care about that, then I would play the three copies of Fright for Patchwork, two Fright for, or Fright for, two Edge Imp Chain, and two Polymerization. But I don't really care for them, so I don't play those. But that is it for my branded Despia deck profile. If you have any ideas of what I can do to improve the deck, other deck sections you make, or decks like to see you face each other, feel free to comment those down below. Thanks for watching.